Hi everyone, welcome to day 5 of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving one of the SQL questions asked in Walmart data analyst interview. So let's do the question. So the question says you are given a sales table with columns store name, sale date, sale amount. Write a SQL query to get each store running total by month and their monthly growth ratio. Now there's a formula for the growth ratio. It's basically current month sale minus last month sale divided by the last month sale into 100. Now we have a table, we have basically the data, we have some store names here and we have basically sales date and we have basically sale amount. So here we need to find out basically running total and as well we need to find out basically their growth ratio compared to the last month. So let's go to the PG admin for where I have created the table and let's try to solve these questions. So here you can see I have created the same table with the same data. So I have the sales table here and we have the store name, we have the sale date and we have the sales amount. Okay. So let's see what are the things we need to find out, right? So first we need the running total which is here and we need the growth ratio and we will also need basically the last month sale, right? So let's, so let's write down our approach to solve this question. So first I need basically the current month sale which I already have it here. So I have current month sale which I need, current month sale, okay? Before that I need to order the data by basically the store name and then basically I need to order the data in ascending by this sales date. So the earliest sale come basically first for that particular store. So we need to basically order by, we need to do order by basically the store name and then we need to do an order by by basically sales date, okay? In ascending order. Then we need the current month sale which you already have it here. Then we can basically get the running total using a window functions. So we need the running total which is being asked in the interview and then we need basically the growth ratio now to get the growth ratio because the growth ratio you can only find using the functions called current month sale which is CR sale minus last month sale uh, last month sale divided by basically again last month sale into 100 so this is going to return us basically the monthly growth ratio now this is a basically simple uh, you know functions uh, so this is just a simple formula so let's see how we can find out. So the things that we need here is basically we need last month sale. Last month sale what we need and uh, I think rest all the things we already have it. Okay. So let's see how we can get the last month sale. Now to get the last month sale we can use basically a window functions called a lag. Now if you do not know window functions then this video is for you because you will learn how to use window functions lag here. Okay. So let's start writing our query to solve this question. So first we will basically do a order by by store name and sale date. So I think our data is already ordered by the store name and the sale date. So I can skip that part. Now to get the running total, I can use a window functions called sum. So I can go ahead and this sum on this column, which is called sales amount. And I just need to do a partitions by the store name because each store will have their own running total. So I can go ahead and say over and I can go ahead and say partitions by basically store name. Okay, and I just need to do ordering by this sale date. So I can go ahead and say order by order by sale date ascending. Okay, so by default it will be in ascending. So I can just save it as running total. So I am basically checking the sum. Now this is a window functions. I am basically checking the sum on this sales column and I'm doing a partitions by this store because each store will have their own running total. Now we can see the result. Now I can see store A, the first month sale is basically $1,000, second month sale we have done, mm, I just need to run this query, right, I think I have not run this query, so let's just run this query and see, sale amount does not exit, I think it's sales, right, so sales amount is the column name, so let's just run it again, now we should have our answer, sales date, okay, oops it's sale date okay now let's just run the query again we should have our answer now so now you can see we have all the data for a store a then we have all the data for a store b and we have all the data for a store c in different different part now a store a has basically a store a's running total so here this current month sale is basically you can say one thousand dollars so the running total is one thousand dollar now in the next month which is in the fab so Feb, the current month sale is $1,500. So previous month sale was $1,000. So basically the running total is going to be $2,500, right? Similarly, for the next month, which is basically 2000 is the current month sale and the previous month running total was $2,500. So it's going to be 
2500 plus 2000 4500 so this is how you find the running tutorial now we are doing a partition so each partition will have their own running tutorial now here you can see till here we got basically 18,000 sale by this store a now this store b has a 2000 sale so it is starting again from the 2000 so this is how you basically get the running tutorial the syntax is very very simple you can see it here now what you need to find out is basically the last month sale because we need last month sale to find out the monthly growth for each store then we can basically find out the growth ratio now to get the last month sale we can use another window functions called leg so leg what it will do is basically is going to print the last month sale so let me show you here how it's going to be okay so i can say leg which is part of again window functions and i can say on this column which is called sales amount one row the one row to the previous one and uh, I just need to do the same thing here partitions by store name and uh, I can just copy paste everything I can just explain so partitions by store name order by the sale date now I can just save it as last month sale okay so this is going to be my last month sale now let's see how, what is actually happening using lag basically you can print the one row or the you know I mean one row two row the previous sales record now let's say here we will create a new here we will create a new basically columns or window whatever you can call it now here basically for this one this is the current month sale right we do not know the earlier one sale so we will have null because we do not know the previous month sale similarly from for here so the previous month sale we know which is basically one thousand dollars so we will print one thousand dollars here so this is how it works so let me show you in excel if in case if in case we want to find the previous month sale for store A, so we have record of Jan, right? So December of 2023 sale, we do not know. So it's going to be null. But here, if you see, we do have the previous month sale, which is $1,000. So it's going to be $1,000, right? And here, the previous month sale is going to be $1,500. So, so on, so on, right? Similarly, it will be same for B. So B, previous month sale for December 23, we do not know. It's going to be null. And... Uh, in the basically fab we know the previous month sale which is basically two thousand dollars so it's going to be two thousand dollars then it's going to be twenty two hundred so this is how you basically use the leg to get the previous month sale now if you need like a two month early uh, earlier sale as well you can use uh, two as a basically this uh, you know uh, parameters here okay so we can go ahead and run this query let's see if this is working fine or not So now you can see we have the result right now the reason why why we're doing partition because we want each partition and there's a separate basically this data right so here is my first partition which is basically a and for a i basically have the current month sale which is uh here current month sale that is one thousand dollar the premium month sale which is basically december 23 we do not know so that is null now in the fab we do have a current month sale which is fifteen hundred dollar the previous month sale was one thousand dollars so you see the previous month sale we are getting using the window functions called leg now if i just change it to two this will basically return me null as well but uh, this one this one march sale the previous month sale we will have basically one thousand dollars because we can change it to two month uh, previous month as well okay now this is fine we got the previous month sale now what we need is basically we need to find this growth ratio right now we can save this data in a cte because we will need this column uh, we will need this column to use multiple times now this column we have created using basically window functions so i cannot reuse it in this same query so what i can do i can basically save this table in a cte or subquery in the from clause and then i can come out of from this query and, and then i can use this column to basically find this growth ratio so what i can do is basically i can say with and i can give a name call cte monthly sale any name you can give okay now the city syntax is very simple you just say with and then a city name and you just need to give this alias s and inside this parenthesis you just need to put your query without closing it so just make sure you don't basically close it by using a semicolon now this is fine okay so this is going to give us basically this a table right the, whatever the table you have which is basically the total sale running total and the last month sale and that's going to store in this name as soon as I execute it right now here I just need to write my things whatever I want to select from this table so whatever I need is basically now I need from this table is basically a store name okay then I need a sale date 
so sale date is the second thing what I need sales amount what I need I need basically now now this table has a column called basically running total right so I can type the column name running total okay so next what I need is basically last month sale so I can just go ahead and say last month sale so I got all this column from my this CTE table so I can basically say here from CTE so I can just run this query now I have basically all the columns that I need to find this growth ratio let me basically show you so let's go ahead and run this query now you can see we have basically the store name sale date last uh, this uh, current month sale and the running total and the last month sale right so what you can do is basically we can here we can basically write our functions to get and the running total so here we need the running total right so in the running total what we need is basically this current month sale minus last month sale divide by the last month sale and multiply with 100 that is how we find the growth ratio compared to the last month so for example if the last month sale like here is $1,000 and the next month sale is basically the $1,500 so the growth ratio would be 50% right 50% increase because why because last month sale was 1000 now this month sale is basically 1500 right so that's a 15 50% .50 high so this is what we need to find out using the functions here so I can go ahead and say that uh, this sale amount by basically minus this last month sale okay now the functions you just need to remember this uh, formula so again divide by last month sale into 100 okay so I can just put this one in a brackets so I want this one to basically find first then I want to basically divide the result by the last month sale and multiply with 100 okay so the month which has basically null values for that month growth ratio would be basically null as well right so we can just run this query and we can see our answer so let's just wait and we will have the answer very soon now you can see in the result we do have basically store name sale date sales amount and the running total last month sale and the basically growth ratio now you can see here last month sale was basically uh, this one if we compare last month sale is basically 1000 and the next month sale is basically 1500 so the growth ratio is 15 plus 50 percent increase right so you can see 50 percent increase similarly in the next month we have basically 2000 so 33 percent another increase so this is how you can see the growth ratio is being calculated now even if you want to check for the store B so the current month sale for basically Jan which is 2000 and the last month sale we do not know for basically December 23 next month sale is 2200 so the increase you can see for 10 percent next month sale is 2400 increases 9 percent so this is how you can solve this type of interview question now if you want to practice the same question I'm going to add this link and the data set in the video descriptions you can click the video descriptions click the github link and uh, you can download the data create a table and practice and solve by yourself that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end have a good day